Back here in studio, beauty devotees absolutely swear by the power of the laser to tighten your skin, to reduce fine lines, and get rid of those dreaded age spots. But they also come with some risks, so you got to make sure you're making good choices when you book these kind of appointments. Christy Harris is joining us. She is an esthetician and certified laser technician at Shapiro Aesthetic Plastic Surgery and Skin Clinic. That's a mouthful, Christy. <laughs> and uh, she's joining us this morning with an important reminder, along with one of her clients, Beth Mohan, who learned the hard way about uh, what can go wrong with some of these lasers. So thank you, ladies, for being yeah. here. We'll talk about some of the products for treatment in a moment. But what did Beth first say when she? came to you and what did you think? Well actually at first I talked to her on the phone and I had her send me some pictures and when I got the pictures I was a little surprised at the severity of it and I was just like you know you really need to come in this isn't something we can address over the phone. Yeah Beth you're looking great we're gonna we have those pictures of what you were going through after you received a laser treatment. <laughs> okay so let's make this clear this laser treatment did not happen in your office. No. Uh, you went to to seek what? What kind of treatment were you hoping um, for? Well, what had, results were you looking right, for? I had a lot of sun damage. Okay. Okay. Because I, you know, we live in Arizona yes. and I also swim a lot outside and I really wanted to get some of the age spots um, lifted off and so I went in for a treatment. Um, and I this actually, was one treatment? I had a few okay. and it was on the uh, one of the later treatments that I um, experienced um, severe white marks and maybe even laser burns. Yeah, yeah, for sure Christy laser said. burns. Yeah. yeah. So you sure. can it's like the pigment in her skin is taken out and it's you can actually see where the device is touching down on her skin. So what exactly. happens is it'll start to darken up, almost mm -hmm. looks like a thin scab, and then when that comes off, it's white underneath. Oh. So you have loss of pigment or hypopigment is what we okay. call it. So that's what she was experienced as a result from her IPL treatment. So part of the reason that this happens is Really, she was not a good candidate at the time she had the treatment because she was too tan. Oh. And these devices, all lasers are absorbed by a specific chromophore, meaning like color, melanin okay. or water, what have you. Well, the devices we use for hair removal in IPL are absorbed by melanin. We want it to be absorbed by the color in your brown spot, freckle, hair, what have you. But when you're tan, all that surrounding tissue will absorb the heat and you get a burn. And that's why um, people with darker pigment like me exactly. are really warned to ask a lot of questions and make sure that you're seeing somebody like Christy who is really good, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, who can make sure that you're using it at the level that's safe, right? Absolutely. And in her case, I wouldn't have even performed the treatment. Uh, at I, that time. At that time, I would have preconditioned her with something like the Obagi yes. system or even done a peel like our Prodigy peel here, okay. which does a good job of lifting pigment. So if I were able to precondition her, she would be better a better candidate for an IPL oh, treatment. Okay, so make sure that you're able to build that relationship and then somebody's mm -hmm. making sure they're taking care of you. Totally. The timing may be wrong, but it could be a treatment you do down the road. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that can be done at home if you see a professional and they say, okay, let's wait on this. So some of the things that you can do at home, again, if she was tan coming in, I would have her use a hydroquinone tretinoin regimen, which lightens up that pigment. Okay. Um, and after she was on something like this, I would switch her to something like white lightning, mm -hmm. which is a non-hydroquinone skin lightener just to maintain her skin. And these are really great lines um, that, that you've suggested to me in the past, uh, is clinical and also the Obagi. You said this line is brand, brand new? So this particular peel, the Prodigy Peel and Prodigy Peel 2, is brand new. It's actually exclusive at Shapiro Plastic Surgery mm -hmm. until probably January oh. 2019. And then we'll start seeing it more national. Okay. But we're really excited about this particular peel because it has a unique property that helps to lift pigment. And in Arizona, I mean, it's so warm here, sunny. We have a lot of people who are very active and pigment is a huge concern in this area. So this is something that you could use at home. You're not looking at downtime. No, this is a professional oh, this peel. this is in office. This okay. is a professional peel and it's only available oh, in a medical practice. Got it. Yeah, so it's an in-office procedure. And then all of this, you kind of want to time it with when you're not going to be out in the sun, yes. getting a lot of exposure because you need to heal from some of this, right? Yeah. And have the optimal results. So we do have to work a little bit with your lifestyle. She's very active, so we kind of have to to work around that when we're planning out our okay. treatment plan. Yeah. <laughs> so how? Let me ask you this. Okay. Yes. So this was got to be have been a, a tough thing for you to go through. I mean, your face is your face. I mean, it's your calling uh, card to the world. So I, how emotional were you during this, and how much better do you feel? Well, you should ask my husband. I was very oh, emotional. Oh yes. I, I, because be, even before Christy, I went to a couple other estheticians, and they said, "Oh, we've never seen this. You know, there may be nothing we can do." And, oh. 
So I finally got Christy and she was very hopeful, very positive, and she said, your skin's going to look better after yes. um, I treat you. <laughs> and I, it really does, but I really want to emphasize how important careful I am now in the sun. I yeah. bet. Well, um, thank you so much for you're sharing You're welcome. This. Thank you for having Ask us. Ask a lot of questions. Make sure that they really care about the results and not just want to book that appointment right then and right. there no matter what. Right. Um, okay, so you can see Christy. And also, you, Christy, you also have a blog real quick. Yeah, Best of Both Worlds okay. AZ. And I actually do have a blog post that talks about what to do if you are burned by a laser. Okay, and we're posting this on AZ Family so you can uh, make an appointment with her if you like. And thank you so much. You're you look welcome. beautiful. Thank you. It is all good now, right? <laughs> Let's yeah. check Christy. it with you. April. April has a lot of sun in the mm -hmm. forecast, so again, reminder, sunscreen, sunscreen. <laughs>